Hello everybody, this is Dave from Red Deer City TV in Red Deer, Alberta. Um, I just want to go over uh, a quick little tutorial on installing a new load of Magic Lantern software on a brand new card. Um, I had a card go down in uh, December, uh, just around Christmas time, and then uh, sent it in for warranty. Uh, it was a Lexar. Um, uh, 64 gig uh, a thousand times and it burnt up um, uh, I, I, I've used it quite heavily so um, anyways so with the Lexar uh, you have uh, excellent warranty and I just got my card this the other day and a kind of funny thing is when I bought my card about three or so years ago uh, up here in Canada in Western Canada, the card was just shy of $400, about $394, I do believe. And fast forward to today, so about three and a half years later, I got my warranty card, and it's only $105.84. It's about a, a fourth of the cost of what it used to be. But I still got my card. So... Um, what you need to do is you have to prepare the card and that details in formatting it uh, in the camera and then running a uh, software uh, running a install firmware um, and it'll automatically set up Magic Lantern and it'll set your boot flag because you need to set your boot flag on your camera which is my camera's been already set from all the other um, magic lantern uh, software i've run but there hasn't been anything set on here yet so we got to make this card bootable so we can have magic lantern on it so i'll go through the steps and i'll show you how it's all done and uh, we'll go from there Okay, I'll uh, switch over to the computer here, and I'll be doing this on my PC, just because uh, it's, for me, it's, it's the easiest, and I just like Windows 7. I'm not a Windows 10 guy yet, I'm not convinced yet, so until I need it, uh, everything I do will be on Windows 7 and the new Mac. Alright, so let's switch over to the, the PC, and... Let's uh, find the nitrate build we're going to use, and then we'll sh I'll show you uh, screenshots and the step-by-step -step process that I do to get Magic Lantern installed on a brand new card. So first of all, we want to get the build. So we want to get the nightly build, and we're just going to go here, and uh, so we go to the nightly builds here. Now I'm on a 5D Mark II, and you can see there's the build and the latest build, and they do a, a test on it, uh, a QM a test, and it's a test in the server, um, in on the Magic Legend forum. They have a server in the background there that actually does test builds daily, uh, and if it doesn't pass, then they'll see a fail, and it it could be because it something was overlooked or not checked so uh, that's one that's the reason why that's there all right so we want this one so we want 5d mark ii and you can and here we have where the build is so the latest build is february the 4th so it really hasn't been much been going on um six passes you can uh, view the change log what has been done okay um, just track that and there is um, installation and basically here is your installation make sure you're running the latest firmware format your card in the camera right there copy all the files onto the card and run the firmware update after installation copy the ROM files 
on your card into a safe place. And that's just what that is. Your ROM files is your backup files that auto, that Magic Lantern automatically uh, generates from the camera. And it's basically your firmware. And that's what we dump. And that's how we reverse engineer by looking through the ROMs. Um, so we break them down, disassemble them. So if you you get your ROM, you put it in a safe spot. So anything ever, if anything ever happens to your camera, then you can be restored um, to factory defaults with these ROMs. But typically, um, it very seldom happens anymore, uh, if at all. I haven't heard anything for at least over a year of any issue. And if it is, it's usually a user a user error. So. And then to run, uh, to uninstall it, so you just run the firmware up there from your card again and follow the, uh, the screen instructions. And uh, that's it. And then uh, <clears throat> that's it. And just, uh, and then some other things, and then there's some troubleshooting. Um, you should always wait for the lead to confirm blinking be, uh, about five seconds before you open your door and remove your card. So to make sure once you open your car, open your, your door on your camera, right here, like that, wait five seconds, there'll be, over here there'll be a blink, got a few blinks, and then once that blinking, blinking stops, then you can extract the card out. Um, and let me see here, and then, uh, camera doesn't boot well basically if there's an issue pop out your battery it doesn't matter what what's happening you don't need to turn the power switch off here all you need to do is open your your door and then hit your button and pop your battery out and it'll stop everything it's just a, basically a computer that that shoots pictures so it's just like pulling your plug in your computer it just crashes it and then restarts it to uh, original settings so and it does not hurt it and um, yeah and that's about it from here so we'll go ahead and we'll just we'll save this card and we'll save as because I want to put it to a particular spot I'll just put it to my desktop done so now we want to uh, open it up there it is and you just need to extract it done now there's the build that we got and there's our extracted files Okay, so if we follow back here, and let me see here, installation, make sure you're running that firmware. I know I'm running that firmware, so I don't have a problem with that. But if you click on this link, then you can go to where the firmware is. Okay, so first, format the card uh, for the camera. Okay, so take the camera out, take the card. And I got a battery here, and hopefully it's still in good shape. And... We will just minimize this window here. Okay. So, take the card out, got the battery in there, and it's a fresh Ultra DMA, 160 megabytes a second uh, write, or read, sorry. It's a 1066, and I do believe these write at uh, approximately 155 megabits per second. So, open the card, door. Turn the, turn the camera on. And so now I'm going to format. 
and format card, all data will be lost. That's okay. So we just want to go okay. So just turn your dial button. And I think this is pretty straightforward for most people that have this camera. Just go okay. Now the card is formatted. And now we can take the card out and just hit your menu to get out. So now we've done that and now we can put Magic Lantern on there. All right, so we've taken the card out and we put it in the computer. Now we'll just open the card up. And you can see it's made its files. Now what we do is get Magic Lantern. There it is right there. And what we need to do is we need to take these files here. And this is the firmware that we run, okay. Um, now, we still need to run, I still need to copy these over. Okay. And these are your files, your modules. Now, these are all your modules you wanna run. Now, I normally, I don't need all these modules. So, I usually, I don't use, it's whatever people want to use, but I just run uh, delete. Yep, because they're all still in here and I don't run that. Delete that one. Um, there's just a play module. I don't really need that one. I just want to get just your basic Magic Lantern running. Uh, we don't need that. Uh, we don't need that. Delete. And I can say it's it's all your preference what you want. And a silent module, we don't really need that. Okay, so all the file module, we don't even really need that if we're not using the play module. So basically to get raw video going, all we need is your system file, your raw record, and your sound. And that's all you need. And these are just all your files for Magic Lantern. Okay, and this is the firmware that we run. And that's what runs it. So now we've, we've put it on there. Okay. And we just need to eject it. Safety. Now um, we've put the card back in the camera. So now we'll, what we'll do is we'll go to the menu. Okay, so we formatted it, but we don't want to do that. Okay, so now we want to go to the firmware. Yes. Cleaning sensor, please wait. Backing up the ROM. Please restart your camera. After restarting, please copy it in and follow it as to install. Okay, so restart the camera. And I restarted the camera. And we should have Magic Lantern installed. And there we go, enjoy. And, and uh, that's the latest one, as you can see. And there we go. Now Magic Lantern is installed. That's the basic need to get things running. Now we need to uh, highlight that to, it will load on reboot and that will load on reboot. 
and that's it. And then there's our modified menus with everything we got going. Okay, so we'll just go back to here. Okay, so we'll just get out of there. And what we'll do is reboot. And then we'll have raw video. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now we have, uh, now we can turn on our raw video. And uh, of course you have your different aspect ratios. I'll just turn on the two one. Since this is 14 bit, uh, we want to leave it off because it'll clear the display. Um, and you can have auto, whatever you like, but that's, and then the other thing I usually like to run a, a little card warm up and extra hacks on. Uh, I like to run the, f the fill buffer method at zero. And the other thing I like to run is I, I don't like the icon because it doesn't really tell me much information. So I leave it on debug and back out of it. Then we go now, we can, now we can turn on sound. And now you can see I have sound. Uh, you can 40, 48. I usually run 44, one just to give it a little less overhead issues. And that's, yeah, so you're all ready to go now. Okay, so we just hit the trash can to get out of there. And then I hit the um, record button. And we should get some raw video going here. And there we go. We're recording raw video. There you go, gen gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's the basic how you get Magic Lantern installed.